Hi everyone, how are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Welcome back to my channel. Like always, today I'm going to show you 11 amazing photos that will make you wonder about the advanced technology of the past. Some might say that I'm being repetitive by displaying these photos. But that's the whole point. These photos are proof that a small occult elite of based and the history to fit their narrative. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. Leonardo da Vinci's Last Supper never ceases to amaze me. It seems it's a part of a mysterious encoded riddle relating to the pyramids and truth about our ancestors. Do you think this is all just a coincidence? There are thousands of pyramids across the world. They have a huge meaning and are connected with the stars, consciousness, and our ancient past, and so much more that should be shared with you. They are perfectly precise and in alignment with each other and with the lee lines of the earth. There are many ancient sites across the earth which seem to form a pattern. It has been determined that there is a 25,000 mile long circle which goes directly through most significant sites across the surface. Not only do these sites seem to be lined up with each other, but many more mathematical patterns emerge when looking at it this way. Why would Da Vinci paint Jesus in the pyramids? It's for you to connect the dots. Middle Age Wallace Tower in Scotland. You are probably wondering what are those antennas on top. Let me tell you, those antennas were not placed there so that the royalty can have better reception of only fools and horses on TV. They were actually antennas for harnessing free energy. What is free energy? It's more of a slang term for atmospheric electricity, or electricity from the air. Either energy, if you will. The reason it's free is, because you don't have to pay for it, our ancestors had technology that was able to harness this energy free of charge, without using any resources. You find this pattern on many ancient buildings. Statue of a king of the Neo-Assyrian Empire, wearing a pre-Christian cross symbol. Notice the symbolism on both of the statues, they are connected. This even four-sided cross is actually ancient symbol that represented the equality between original four Aryan tribes that came to Midgard, or Earth. Their land, which at that time, was located at North Pole, and divided by four rivers. At that time, the climate on that northern continent was very mild and warm. The original Aryan tribes that came to Midgard are, D. Aryans, H. Aryans, Rasins, or Russian, and Sviatoris, or Slavic tribes. The copy of this map has been preserved to this day, which Gerhard Mercator copied in the Middle Ages from the wall of one of the Egyptian pyramids at Giza. By the way, this photo shows northern lights above Helgramskirkja Church in Reykjavik, Iceland. Very beautiful. This is what happens when you try to move liftable ancient Egyptian stones. There are some ancient stones that actually weighed over 100 ton, and there are close to 4 million blocks. This puts pyramid building into context. 4 million of these sized blocks were cut, quarried, shaped, and positioned every 2 to 4 minutes, 24 hours per day, 7 days a week, for 25 years. When you take that into consideration, and all without the electrical power of machines, you come to conclusion that this couldn't possibly be done by civilization that thousand years ago was living in Stone Age, according to mainstream history. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you'd learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update and watch to the end to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. The Suicide of Saul is an oil on panel by the Netherlandish Renaissance artist, Peter Bruegel the Elder, painted in 1562. This 16th century painting is showing people riding dinosaurs. How are they going to explain this one away? 
Anyway, if dinosaurs all died out 65 million years ago, why do so many ancient cultures have dinosaur depictions, pottery and drawings? These include the Chinese, Babylonians, Sumatrans, Greek, Mesopotamian, Egyptian, Mayan, Cambodian, Aborigine Australian, and many others. They would have had to see them firsthand. Basically, when light is obstructed, a shadow is generated. But we can see that, when a bright flame is crossed by a light source, no shadow is cast at all. Because a flame is always a source of light, it will not cast a shadow by another source of light going through it. Essentially, one light beam cannot interact directly with another. But it seems that the graphics department at SpaceX did not know. Elbert Bridge, supposedly from 1887 to 1959 in Hamburg. I love architecture books, where they go into the ruins of some ancient more advanced civilization, and everything is massive, and they have no idea how it was made, that's how I feel. Megalithic structures across the world, whose precision and size, make it seem impossible to have built by the humans of that time. Ancient Tech Plus Giants. According to the Environmental Working Group studies, 34% of our country's cosmetics contain carcinogenic chemicals, 25% contain reproductive or developmental toxicity, and 60% contain synthetic hormones that act like estrogen. These toxic chemicals can seriously alter our health by damaging our immune systems and disrupting our endocrine systems. Women are programmed to do this from an early age, to accept toxins in their sacred bodies, all for cultural acceptance and vanity standards of society. Companies that make cosmetics get to decide what goes in them. They often use misleading words like, natural, or, organically made, when in fact, there may only be one natural or organic ingredient in the entire product, leaving a lot of room for toxic chemicals. The toxification of these products is actually a war on women, fueled by indoctrination and mind programming from an early age. Satanic Baphomet in the Cartoon Network TV show Adventure Time. There is nothing on TV worth watching. It's all garbage. The universe responds to your frequency. It doesn't recognize your personal desires, wants or needs. It only understands the frequency in which you are vibrating at. For example, if you are vibrating in the frequency of fear, guilt, or shame, you are going to attract things of a similar vibration. If you are vibrating in the frequency of love, joy, and abundance, you are going to attract things that support that frequency. It's kinda like tuning into a radio station. You have to be tuning into the music you want to listen to, just like you have to be tuned into the energy you want to manifest into your life. Change you mince it, it will change your life. Everything will actually be fine. Maintain your heart and mind coherence. Detox and cleanse the body vessel. Eat natural and organic foods. Drink lots of water. Avoid chemical and processed foods. Stop feeding and financially supporting the matrix companies. Spend time in nature. Flow in neutral and zero-point energy. Move your body, release old and dense energies, set good intentions, activate your personal portals into your highest timeline. This is your natural state of being. Comment below with more topic ideas for me to discuss. As a lot of care and hard work goes into this, likes and subscribe, let me know I'm doing a good job. All is appreciated greatly. You may not agree with everything from the content I post. Apply critical thinking and use discernment to come to your own conclusions regarding the content. Thanks for watching this video. This everything inside me channel, see you on the next video. Stay safe and healthy.